Hey right guys, Drew from Just Show here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of Outer Banks Season 1. It is scorching today, I don't know, like I'm sweating it out in this room with laptops on and PS4s and other laptops, it's gonna, it's getting mad and I'm meant to stream later, so uh, I might be dying for this reaction, but Outer Banks, I had the, obviously an episode off yesterday because I wanted to finish Hollywood off, uh, but I'm excited to get into the second half of this season, because um, I'm actually, I'm on board with it now, I, I I think, like, the, as I said, the first couple of episodes were tricky to get into because you don't have that attachment to the characters when going into a show like this, and this was not a show where I instantly fell in love with all the characters straight away because they were all so likeable and quirky. It was not like that for me. Upon the five episodes that we have watched, uh, they've definitely done a good job of building on the characters more so than I thought it was going to. It's not been perfect, like, not even close. It's not been, like, the best development I've seen for characters within five episodes, not even close, but... I really thought this would be a struggle, kind of like the society, to really get attached to the characters, but it, it hasn't been, like, as I said, Sarah, John, even JJ now, Kiara as well. For some reason, people don't think I like Kiara. I do. I even said in the first three episodes she was my favourite character. <laughs> um, Sarah's taken over in the last couple of episodes, to be fair, but Kiara was, is still my favourite character of the main group, if you're taking Sarah out of it. Kiara's still the best character, I think, because I didn't hype her up as much in episode five. People already thought I just didn't like her character, but... Trust me, I do. <laughs> I, I, I don't really get it, but I mean, Fez. Um, so the second half of the season, guys, I'm, I'm excited. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe. And of course, if you want the uncle reactions to Outer Banks, then the link to the Patreon page will be down below. Again, thank you to all the patrons who have come over for Outer Banks because it's been a lot more than I thought it was going to be. So you guys are legends. Uh, but for now, let's do this. Oh, I have been spoiled, by the way, by someone in the last comment. T decided to tell me that this is the episode where we find out uh, why Sarah and Kiara don't like each other, no. so <laughs> I know that that is something I was spoiled on, uh, kind of unfortunately, because it would have been nice to learn that myself, but I don't know why, it was just I know it's cooking this episode. You're not chasing after pots of gold like your old man, are you, Chubby? Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, actually. Outer Banks, Inner Winks! They've gone back to the, uh, yellowy-orange piss filter. Yo, Kiara's hair looks... Sick, to be fair. Yeah, just snort a line off. What was that, some dirty ass... What? Oh, you dirty ass bike, okay, cool. Oh yeah, we're using money! <laughs> this guy was given one rule. Pay me back. <laughs> this guy is such a twerp! Oh, mad. Oh, mad. Mad. He doesn't seem that in pain. He's like, stop it, please. Please stop! Get off of me, please! Yeah. Run down under a cold tap. Oh god, weeping angels! What the fuck? I don't give a shit if she's an axe murderer, okay? <laughs> Pope! Every scene just staring at everyone. JJ, shut up. Why are you in some creepy ass basement? You decide to rope in Barbie, now the trail's gone dry. Coincidence? What? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Is it because I kissed you? Is that the problem? Oh. Okay, she's trash. Trash! How many times do I have to say this? Stop normalizing slapping guys in the face and making a power moment in shows. Fucking do Okay, and now he's done the same thing. Are they just gonna keep slapping each other then? Are we just gonna keep doing this? Okay, it's playful now. At least it's playful. We're good. God, I thought they were gonna just keep going, and I was like, oh my god. Mad, so you gotta get down there now. It was your fault. If you went up there, it would have fallen off. This summer was supposed to be legendary. Legendary, was it? Well, that did happen. You wanna want talk about last night? Sure. Did you forget the part where you cheated on me? Huh? Oh. You're a slut. Okay. Watch your mouth when you talk about my daughter. His daughter's banging a post. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Jesus. Yo, I like that, Dad. As if he just full on called Sarah that, like, mate. And then he shouts like, ah. Oh, here we go. By the way, once we get with everybody, they're going to be excited. Oh, God, this is going to be so awkward. Nope, I think. Oh, shit, she's here. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Then leave. Oh god. I wanna find out the reason why they don't like each other and then judge. Exactly. You're a shit talking bitch. Oh, yeah. oh! You are my best friend, right? So you're you're my Um Uh 
my girlfriend. What? Oh, come on! That's some bullshit. No. Why? You've kissed her twice. Why have they done that? Oh, it's so stupid. You're my girlfriend. Fuck off, mate. You've kissed like three times. This is so rushed. This is so rushed. They've ruined it. They've just ruined it. Yeah, well done. In one scene, you've managed to ruin my hype for Sarah and John. He just said that he loves her and that she's his girlfriend. <laughs> Where did it come from? Through the window? There's no door there. Wait, was he trying to make a move or was he trying to be a mate? Can we not try and make these two a thing? And then she turned on me like she does with everyone. That was it. You know we can't do that. They spent one good day together and then she didn't continue being a friend. I get being, to be fair, with Kiara's point of view, I get being pissed at Sarah. I get that, but I'm not going to hate Sarah because of that. Sorry. <laughs> Stay in the car. What's this? Oh, is he giving him the money? Got to get his dad to clean up his mess. He's going to kick him in the face or something. He's going to kick him. Sorry, Sam. Yep. Told it. Why are you kicking him? Your son got into doing dealings with him. It's not this guy's fault. Yeah, he's a bit of a prick, but... You, won't. <laughs> you ain't living with me anymore, bitch. Because you're a liar. Oh, okay, because he's a liar. You're a thief. And I can't have you in my house. Yup, told you. Boom, 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 boom. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for the kid at all. Uh, oh. Joke? Oh. Like Wrecked. Us. Wrecked. Oh my god. They've forced them both to talk. You don't even know where you're um, going. also I'm mad. Ah, oh, she's trying to swim after him. I got stuck by jellyfish. Shit! Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh mad! Surely you'd have a bit more of a reaction than ah! <laughs> Don't you need to piss on it? Is that the right thing? She was in the water for half a second and got stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> so yeah, I expected this. Oh mad, they're best of base now, sorted. She's done with it. <laughs> Why? Here we go, here we go, here we go. We were best friends. Oh, best friends? Okay, thought we hung out for one day. And then you told everybody I was the reason that the party got busted. Ultimate betrayal? I mean, really, what did I do? Damn, like Sarah. Oh! People get close to me. I feel trapped. I bail. And then I blame them for it. Right. That's not healthy. I'm really sorry. I should have sorry at least. That's very scummy though. I am with Kiara on that. Self sabotaging anything new, but I'm not going to side with Sarah because of it. Promise me that you won't fail on John B. Ooh! Yo, Kiara's sick. He's not just. Even after it all, still sticking up for John. See, that's fine. Saying that he really likes her, that's. I get it. But why was he like, oh, love just jumped out of nowhere at me? <laughs> That's the one scene that's there where I'm like, ugh, oh, you fucking ruined it. Shall we just move on and pretend that didn't happen? Should, can, we, can we do that? After this set? I'll talk about it in the review, but then after that, we'll just pretend it didn't happen. Also, I'm sorry I called the cops. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Wow. Knew it. She actually did. Don't give them the satisfaction of thinking this worked. Absolutely not. <laughs> why, why would we do that? Oh, look at that. St oh, mad. <laughs> oh, the wing. Yo, maybe I should these two. There we go. This is the moment. Sarah's part of the group. I think six steps in is a good length for that. Something's got to happen from this because it's just been five minutes of them sneaking around trying to get rid of these breakers. Like, there we go. Go and get rid of the lights. Oh, is that genuinely it? What was that, to pad for time? Oh, right, they have to do their thing now. Where they have to hide from the old lady! <laughs> Fuck that. We're not trust these two. 
Oh my god. Unreal. Really, JJ? Really? That's your best mate in there. And I can't believe John showered up the well. Like, that's going to echo amongst the whole house, so good job on that one. Where are they? I smell them. Here we go. Oh god, you could have worn some stanky ass clothes at least. There is definitely a body down there. Oh wow. Oh, it's a, it's a skeleton! Chill out! Unreal. Like, you didn't even look around for like a minute. You're not about to try and fit in there, mate, please. Ugh. Oh my god, it's like, don't breathe. I can hear you. Uh, why is this a scene? <laughs> We've got some old bint running around trying to eat him. Oh, is that blood on his face? It looks like blood. Oh no, it's just actual poo. It's just poo. It's like the walking dead. The walking old person. Oh, wait, is that... Oh my god. Just kill her, she's blind. Oh, whatever. Ah! Oh, yeah. What is, what's he saying? Yo, she got a shotgun. Why are you leaving the gold? No, you'll come back and there won't be any gold. Oh my god. Just club around the feet. Now you. Oh my god, I thought they knew that. She walked right past you. What do you mean? Oh, she's blind. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why are you driving off? She's an old lady. She's gonna sprint after you like the Flash. They're gonna go back there. There'll be zero gold. Why are they celebrating? You've got one bit. Until you go back there and grab it all for yourself, you've done nothing. Oh my god, these fucking idiots. Cool, celebrate all you want, my ass, I guess, because you're gonna go back there and it's not gonna be there, so. <laughs> like, I don't get. <laughs> and, oh, and the fact that we still have like four apps left. Probably should. Alone be a reason as to idiots. <laughs> I know they couldn't exactly like carry it all out <laughs> right then, I get that, but until they have it safe and sound, they haven't won anything. Uh, yeah, there we go, that is episode six of Outer Banks season one. It was a good episode, I enjoyed that. There was a couple of things in there I didn't love, uh, but overall, again, just an enjoyable episode. Uh, doing a great job with Kiara, JJ, John, and Sarah. Still Pope's just the odd one out of not really adding much, I don't think. He found the well, but again, that doesn't add to his personality, really. It's just something he did. So things I did... Oh, and then we had a bit more, I guess, of Sarah's brother kind of, and his dad kind of doing that thing with the drugs or whatever. But again, I, I don't like that kid, so I'm not going to feel any sympathy for him or whatever that he's being kicked out of the house. Sarah finally joining the group. I was glad about We kind of got a bit of backstory about why her, her and Kiara don't like each other. And it was the most by-the-book reason you could ever think of, which was they used to be best friends. Sarah turned back on Kiara when not best friends anymore. They do not like each other anymore. Um, so it was most by the books reason there possibly could be, but I guess we got a reason. Um, I sided with Kiara on it, but they, they figured, uh, figured it out pretty quickly, and now Sarah's part of the group, which I like. Um, things I didn't like was like, as I said, John, which we we'll only talk about in this episode because I kind of want to forget it happened, but John dropping the L-bomb after like chilling with Sarah, Sarah for three episodes and then calling her his girlfriend, which I hope that is not the case, please. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend at all. We're still building on their relationship and their chemistry. Don't ruin it by making out they're together now or something. Like, yeah, okay, end of the season finale, I'm gonna let it slide, but episode six, and they're only really talking since episode three. No. <laughs> um, then they went to this creepy old lady's house and, you know, they had a bit of threat with her being blind and walking around with a shotgun, which... Yeah, it is a little bit silly, but and I don't get how they didn't pick up that she was blind, that she literally walked past you and you were here. Like, she did this, and they were questioning whether she was blind. Are they all right? <laughs> and she had a light as well. That's fucking stupid. That was like some of the dumbest shit Chloe and Kiara have ever come out with. Oh, she's blind. That's why she can't aim. She's blind. Fucking stupid. Uh, yeah, I guess I found the gold, but like I said, there's no way, and I don't know why they're celebrating, like, you bought out one bit of gold with you, which is a bit of money, but, I mean, 
it's all down there. I don't know, it's just randomly in this well, I guess, after all this time. So, yeah, I guess we'll see what they do with it next episode. But I reckon they'll go back to try and take it out of the home. It's just not going to be there. So, I guess time will tell on that one. But thanks for watching, guys. Rating, I'm going to give this one a... I'll go 7.2 out of 10. I think last episode was definitely stronger. Uh, I did like Yara and Sarah's scenes um, and some of the John scenes. Um, but last episode was definitely better for me. Um, this one just had a few more silly moments and, like say, rushing John and Sarah's relationship. It was like on track to being, it was like perfectly paced and then they kind of rushed it uh, with this episode, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'm going to go 7.2 out of 10. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and join them. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you want these uncut reactions, I don't know if the Patreon page will be down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 7. Until then, peace.